Imagine this, Ruby Frankie, a woman once basking in the spotlight of social media now convicted and behind bars. Ruby Franca, a name that once echoed in the corridors of social media fame, a woman who had the world at her fingertips. She was an internet sensation, a beacon of influence for millions. Her life was a colorful montage of shared experiences, laughter, and the occasional tear, all under the watchful gaze of the digital world. Her rise to fame was nothing short of meteoric. From a simple life to the heady heights of social media stardom, Ruby was in a league of her own. Her every move, every post, every shared moment was lapped up by her followers. She was their queen, their confidant, their friend, yet behind the scenes away from the glitz and glamour a storm was brewing. A sudden turn of events that no one saw coming. The world watched in shock as their beloved Ruby was enveloped in a scandal that would shake her world to its very core allegations, investigations, and finally the conviction. The world watched as Ruby Franca, the woman who once held court in the digital world, was stripped of her crown and sentenced to a life behind bars. The fall from grace was swift and brutal, leaving her followers and the world in a state of disbelief. The lights dimmed, the cameras stopped rolling, and the social media queen was silenced. From basking in the spotlight to being confined within the cold, stark walls of a prison cell, and just like that, Ruby Franca's life took a sharp turn from the glitz and glamour to the cold, harsh reality of prison. Ruby's first days in prison were a rude awakening, a stark contrast to the life she once knew. A chilling wind of harsh reality blew through the corridors of her life, stripping away the familiar and replacing it with the cold, hard edges of her new existence. The world as she knew it had been replaced by a maze of grey walls, steel bars and faces etched with stories of regret and resilience. She found herself engulfed in a sea of unfamiliar faces, each one a testament to a life that had taken a wrong turn somewhere along the line. Every day was a battle against a relentless tide of routines and regulations. The relentless clang of cell doors, the monotonous march of meals, the endless hours that stretched out like a desert with no oasis in sight. The simplicity of her previous life was replaced by the complex patterns of prison protocol, a dance she was forced to learn with no room for missteps. Adapting to this new reality was not just a matter of survival but a test of her mental fortitude. The nights were the hardest, an eerie silence punctuated by distant echoes of despair. As she lay on her hard, cold bunk, she would close her eyes and try to transport herself back to a time before her world had been turned upside down, back to a world where she was free. But each morning the stark reality of her situation would wash over her like a cold shower, shocking her back into the present. And each day she would put on her brave face, steal her resolve and step out into the unforgiving light of her new world. She learned to navigate the unspoken rules and hierarchies, to keep her head down and her spirit up. She found strength in places she didn't know existed, resilience in the face of adversity, and a determination to endure. Ruby's initial days were an uphill battle, a struggle to adapt and survive. But through it all, she held on to the belief that this was just a chapter in her life, not the entire book. And with each passing day, she was writing her own story of resilience and redemption. Just when things seemed impossible, Ruby found a way to turn the tide. In the unforgiving environment of the prison, Ruby began to adapt. She learned the rules, the rhythms, the silent language of survival. But adaptation isn't just about surviving. It's about finding a way to live in the most challenging circumstances. And Ruby, in her own unique way, did just that. She sought solace in the simplest of things, a ray of sunlight piercing through the tiny cell window, the silent camaraderie shared with her cellmate during the long, cold nights, the smell of old books in the prison library. These became her lifelines, her anchors in a world that was far removed from everything she'd known. Ruby also realized that she wasn't alone in her struggle. There were others like her, each carrying their own burden of guilt, regret, and loss. She found unexpected friendships in those shared struggles. Bonds were formed, not out of choice, but out of necessity. These friendships became her strength, her support system. But Ruby didn't stop there. She made a choice, a choice to not let her circumstances define her. She decided to use her time in prison to turn her life around. She enrolled herself in educational programs available in the prison. She learned, she grew, she evolved. She turned her prison cell into a classroom, her sentence into a journey of self-discovery. Ruby also found ways to give back. She started mentoring other inmates, sharing her learnings, her experiences. 
She became a beacon of hope in a place where hope was a rare commodity. She showed them that change was possible, that redemption was attainable, that they too could find their own turning point. Ruby's story is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable ability to adapt, to change, to grow. It's a story that reminds us that even in the most challenging circumstances, we have the power to transform our lives. In the darkest corners of the prison, Ruby found a way to let her light shine. Prison was difficult but it also became a place of transformation for Ruby. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Ruby found the strength to reinvent herself amidst the harsh realities of prison life. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, Ruby began to see the world through a different lens. She was no longer the social media star who lived her life in the public eye. The spotlight was gone, replaced by the harsh fluorescent lights of her prison cell. Yet, amidst the starkness Ruby found an opportunity for introspection. She began to question the values she had once held dear, the image she had projected to the world. The glitz, the glamour, the superficiality of her previous life seemed trivial now. She was confronted with the reality of her actions and the consequences they had brought. In this place of hardship and isolation, Ruby found the motivation to grow. She began to educate herself, to understand the world beyond the confines of her past life. She read voraciously, devouring books on philosophy, sociology, and psychology. She attended the prison's self-improvement workshops and began to engage in earnest conversations with her fellow inmates. Through these experiences, Ruby began to cultivate a deeper understanding of herself and the world around her. She developed empathy and compassion, qualities that her previous life had not fostered. As the months rolled on, Ruby's transformation became evident. She was no longer the naive young woman who had stepped into the prison. She was stronger, wiser, and more resilient. She had learned to navigate the complexities of prison life and to make the best out of her situation. Ruby Franca, the social media star, was gone. In her place, a stronger, more resilient woman emerged. This transformation, though born out of hardship, was Ruby's silver lining and it would serve as the foundation for her life beyond the prison walls. Ruby's prison journey was more than just a sentence, it was a life-altering experience. In the confines of a cold, stark cell, she found an unexpected sanctuary, a place for deep introspection and self-discovery. The harsh realities of prison life, the isolation, the relentless routine, all served as a backdrop for a profound transformation. Locked away from the world, Ruby found herself confronted with the stark truth of her actions. For the first time, she was forced to face the consequences of her choices, not only for herself, but for those her actions had affected. It was a bitter pill to swallow, but it was also a catalyst for change. In the crucible of her prison cell, Ruby found the strength to look within, to question, to grow. She learned to navigate the choppy waters of regret and guilt, to confront the shadows of her past and to find a spark of hope in the darkest corners of her soul. This journey was not without its trials and tribulations. There were moments of despair, moments when the weight of her actions seemed too heavy to bear. But through it all, Ruby held on. She clung to her newfound sense of self, to the lessons learned within the prison walls. And when the day of her release finally came, Ruby stepped out into the world, a changed woman. She carried with her not just the memories of her time in prison but the lessons she had learned. Lessons about responsibility, about remorse, about redemption. Prison had been a crucible, a place of transformation, but it was also a stepping stone on her journey towards a better self. Ruby's prison journey was more than just a sentence, it was a life-altering experience. And so, as Ruby embarks on this next chapter of her life, she does so with a new perspective, a newfound strength. She carries with her the lessons learned in the hardest of times, the wisdom gleaned from the darkest of places. Ruby Frank's journey is a testament to the strength of the human spirit, a story of resilience in the face of adversity.